morning everyone, it's Harry here and it's day one of my GUE Next Gen Scholarship. Um, I'm heading to the Mendip Hills where I'm going to be doing my fundamentals class with GUE instructor Rich Walker. Welcome to my flat. Um, this is where I usually get prepped before a day of diving. So this is just my little uh, diary cam that's kind of showing you a little bit behind the scenes of the training that I'm getting up to. At the moment, it is the night before Fundies begins. Um, so that's very exciting. I've been, I'd say preparing for Fundies is a, is a word I used to describe it. I've been preparing, I'm a little bit nervous, excited, I'm not quite sure what to expect, I'll be honest. Um, I've recently finished my dive master with Paddy um, in the UK. So at the moment I'm just getting rid, not getting rid of, moving my single tank configuration out and getting my double GUE configuration ready. Um, this will be the first time I'm properly diving in twin sets. I've done a couple intro dives with doubles, but nothing proper. Oh, look at that. Look at that view. For those of you who don't know Bristol, this is one of the best views is coming down this road. The sunrise, I'll take you through it. Excited. Um, not quite sure what to expect. I've done a, a little bit of the reading and had a look at a few of the um, online materials. Um, it's obviously there are a lot of differences to uh, the other agencies that I've trained with. So I'm really excited to uh, learn and see how I can apply the GUE skills to my current diving level. It's minus one. Water temperature is eight degrees. Okay, so after some theory work in the classroom, it was time to get our kit out and get ready to go diving. Here you can see we're practicing some field drills. These are something that I'm not used to undertaking with other organizations. It's not something I've ever done before, but field drills are basically practicing the skills you're gonna do underwater on the surface, and it makes perfect sense. Here you can see we are practicing an S-drill. This is where John on my left um, has donated some air to me and I'm just practicing using that seven foot long hose that I'm definitely not used to on the doubles and trying to make sure that I don't get tangled up in it as we go. Doris on the right is providing support, she's supervising, she might be um, just keeping an eye out on other things. Rich in the background is just making sure I'm doing it right. As you can see I'll be asking lots of questions. I don't mind doing that. I think asking questions really helps um, get the best out of the learning experiences. After this, we got our kit on and started heading into the water. Alright guys, it's really chilly here today. Um, it's about one degrees. It was snowing on the way over. So it's very, very cold. So I'm gonna go put my thermals on and get into my dry suit. And 
that's us ready to go. recently always check your manifold and before getting a fill done because when it's closed you only get half of the amount of gas funnily enough so lesson learned um we'll get it filled again So one of the first things that we learnt on Fundamentals was how to kick, um, a pretty basic skill. Here you can see I'm practicing my frog kicks, uh, that first attempt maybe not the best one but it was improving over the course, you can see keeping my knees up, keeping them nice and flat. And then the other kick we were practicing were the flutter kicks, something a bit more new to me, um, I haven't really focused on doing those but good skill to learn and making sure to, again, not drop the knees whilst popping the energy around the back. And here you can see we are practicing one of my favorite skills over the whole course, which was buoyancy control, where we are aiming to keep that nice flat trim and just having our D-ring on the harness scrape along this wooden platform. So the idea is that you're just using your breath control and your kicks to stay nice and flat. You'll see in a minute, I have a tendency to hold my breath, go up, and then go down on the ex exhale. And that is something that I'm just working on at the moment, just to keep that nice control through the water. Next up, we have the GUE Basic 5 skills. These are five standard scuba diving skills that GUE introduces on the fundamentals class. First up, we have the regulator removal. The aim here is to take your regulator out and maintain neutral buoyancy. As you can see here, it didn't quite go to plan. Number two is again regulator removal, but this time we're going on to our backup regulator. Again, this was a new sensation for me. Um, I'm used to diving on a single tank and having that extra regulator around my neck was a bit weird to begin with, but I gradually got used to it. And as you can see, clipped on first time I was quite proud of that clipping there. And then again, take it off and put it back in. All whilst maintaining neutral buoyancy, you can see I'm just creeping up a little bit and then exhaling to come back down. There we go, maintaining nice neutral buoyancy. Number three then is donating your primary regulator to a diver around you who has signaled that they are out of air. So you can see you grab it with one with your right hand and punch it forward just by ducking your head down and then put your backup regulator in. Once they're happy, you then got to think about your torch and you've got to think about that seven foot hose. So I'm glad this is one of the things that we practiced in the field drills at the surface before we got underwater. Once it's all over, we signal the end of the exercise. Again, think about the order of things. So we took in the hose first. We're then going to reposition the torch. And after that, we are given back our primary hose. And combining the skills we used earlier, can pop that back in. Skill number four then is a flooded mask simulation. This is something that is pretty common across all agencies and it's something that I don't think I've had many problems with in the past, but it's still a good thing that needs to be practiced regularly, especially when diving with unfamiliar configurations or a new kit. But as you can see, no problems here. Number five, signaling there nice and clearly, is the mask removal. Now, this is Vobster Quarry in the UK. It's about six degrees, seven degrees water temperature. So I wasn't looking forward too much to this. So you can see I'm just getting my breath nice and steady before we take that mask off and then put it back on. Again, not too many problems here. It's something I've done before. I just don't particularly like doing it.
here we are practicing some of the other skills that you do on your fundamentals course, such as deploying a DSMB from depth. Here we're just focusing on maintaining our trim and our buoyancy whilst doing something slightly more complicated like tying knots and deploying the buoy. It's not as easy as it sounds, and it's certainly trickier when you've potentially got out-of-air divers around you as well. So, it's been a couple of weeks since I took the GUE Fundamentals class, and I just wanted to come on here and tell you a little bit about how it went. As I mentioned at the start, I was nervous about transferring into GUE. I wasn't sure if I was up to the standard, and I saw it as this class that was way beyond my abilities. However, with all of the training and the one-to-one -one tuition almost, um, I feel that divers at every level can definitely complete this course. It's certainly challenging. On day three, I was a bit in my head and I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna pass the course, but I'm pleased to report that I did pass uh, with a recreational pass, which I'm really, really pleased about. I'm really proud of myself for passing because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it. Um, and I'm really looking forward to diving with this new community of divers and taking the new diving style with me all the way through the rest of my scholarship year. The main thing that I think I need to focus on after my fundamentals class is the breath control, especially when talking about complicated ascents with lots of different skills going on from depth. I wanna really make sure that I'm confident in myself that I can keep that nice uh, flat trim all the way up to the surface. Thankfully, I've got a year of diving planned to hopefully build up more experiences. Next up on my scholarship year is the scientific diving course, which is taking place in April. I'm really looking forward to taking this class alongside other classes. If you want to find out more about what I do when I'm not diving, then check out my first blog post on the GEWE website. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video.